Do you want me to put the other camera on? No. Right now? We're just shooting with this one. Oh, Can you spell your name for me? Yeah. T A M M Y E V E R I T T. My name is Tammy Everett. All right. So what we'll do is we'll I'll just get them to introduce themselves. All right. Harry, don't care about your spell. No, thank you. I didn't think you would. <laughs> Larry, L-A-R-R-Y, Everett, E-V-E-R-I-T-T. -T. Okay, so, because some it. people have strange spellings and I just want to make sure that, okay. Oh, we got a second one there. Yeah, okay. we're good here. Okay, in three, two, one. And we have an opportunity to interview another family, a great racing family from Canada's history. I'd like to introduce you, first of all, to the newest member of the racing family. No, not you, Tammy. <laughs> this little darling right here, who is Tammy Everett's two-year-old? One-year-old. One-year-old yeah, daughter. Lincoln. And Tammy is a race boot stock outboard driver, and she learned all of her bad habits right over there from Larry Everett who is a friend that goes back a long time ago when I first started yakking on the radio uh, about boat racing. Larry, I'm going to start with you. Uh, how did you get your start in powerboat racing? Uh, just at a local lake regatta and racing a seven and a half. Seven and a half horsepower, mini max? No, no, it? just on aluminum boat. Aluminum boat, yep. seven and a half, runabout yep. race. Yep. Did you win? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. But I ran, I won later. I know, one later, and that's yeah. what keeps you coming back. Oh, yeah. yeah, that yeah. First victory. In every sport, there's always one special event that stands out from the rest. For powerboat racers of the Canadian Boating Federation Sportscraft Division, that one special event is known as the Nationals, a single weekend of racing where winning means bragging rights for the year. F1 boats are either fiberglass or wood and weigh a mere 1,050 pounds. Each racing team puts in extra effort to make sure that their boat will be the one to pick up a checkered flag. We get to see the finished product, but it takes a lot of preparation behind the scenes to become one of the very best. There's an awful lot of hard work uh, involved in getting here to the, the national championship, especially if, if you want to be competitive, have a competitive boat. All we've had is uh, changing engine parts all year, trying to get the motor up, so we hope that we're going to peak our season today. And you ended up uh, racing the modified unlimited Mod U and Formula One. Mod U. Tell us what that boat is like, because it's a different kind of thing from a flat bottom. It's different from a hydroplane. It's a tunnel boat. Can you explain what it's like? Yeah, the tunnel boat is an air entrapment hull. Like it runs air right underneath. It's it's kind of like the hydroplane with the sponsors, except they go all the whole length of the boat, and um, they can turn really well. Yeah, and you have some ad advantages that stock outboarders don't, and that is little buttons on the steering wheel. Can you describe what you do with those, with those big engines? Yes, well, uh, the one button, will, you push it one way and the, and the motor trims out to get the bow up in the air, and then when you're coming into a corner, you push another button, brings the bow back down, so you, a lot of times you don't ever have to lift on the throttle. It is, it is a magic of being able to trim that engine in and out that creates the perfect riding profile. You don't want too much air underneath it. And I've seen you do that once, Larry. I don't want to see it again. I've done it, I've done it more than once. Yeah, but I saw it. I have it still on film. But getting in that riding perfect. Now, we're, we've left the tunnel boats, and you've got Tammy into uh, the hydroplanes. Yes. Was that her choice? Exactly well, the, there's no tunnel boat racing in Canada anymore. So, and she wanted to race, and this and racing's racing. Like it's still a lot of fun and terrific competition out here with this stuff. So, it's a good thing to to get her into. And the other stuff's all over now, really, unless you want to go to Dubai. Right. So, Tammy, why did you end up wanting to race? Well, really, it started with the Hammonds. They were bugging us for a couple years. Why, why don't you come test uh, test one of our hydros on our lake? So I tested, and immediately I just fell in love with it. And I think he saw how much I just, it's just a high, right? Like, you're just an adrenaline rush. Even practicing, I was like, wow, was that ever fun? And then we went to the Halliburton races that year, and we ended up getting a pickerel boat. So after that, it was kind of history. So this is now three or four years you've been in Ooh, I think I started... 20, yeah, 2018 or so. Um, like Andrea Hammond, she let me yeah. hop in her boat for yeah. my first race, which was a powder, a powder puff. Yeah. And that got me in with, with your daughter. Yes. And we had a blast. She, it was a bit of a mess of a race, but she still it was loves a lot of to fun. talk about oh, it. Oh, yeah. It was, yeah. it was fun. And then 
after that, it was just, I just couldn't stop. I just fell in love with it, and it's cool because I always wanted to race boats because of my dad's and all, my dad and all his stories, and never thought there was anything around, and next thing you know, we're in this amazing community of people, and you know, it's like a family, kind of, and we have a lot of fun. And it's a full family, we bring her along and everything. So. Yeah, well, this is the next generation. Yeah. One of the things that we've been talking about is that this crazy idea of the Canadian Race Boat Hall of Fame. It's now, uh, Larry, the hole's in the ground, as you might have seen in the video. And this week, they're gonna be blasting out a piece of Muskoka granite in order to put a foundation in. Um, your thoughts about why we really need to do this? Larry, we'll start with you. Well, it'd be great to have some place where people could go and see a lot of even things like you have here, um, you know, before they're all gone. Most of the motors are a thing of the past at, at a dealership or something, so to even be able to see these sort of things is, is it's a great thing to have and to see some of the stuff that we used to run and um, in sports craft or yes. in, in this class. And, you know, it's just great to, to have a place to have them. One of the things that we're doing is the Muskoka Seafly Group are actually going to have a corner in the uh, Raceboat Hall of Fame. It's going to be a a boat building corner and they're going to be building mini maxes and uh, probably typically having you know weekend classes when kids can come in get off the cell phone and get some tools in their hand and start it so we're going to sign you up at some point to be a guest teacher on that i don't do boats i, I, I build engines not boats. well we need to do the engine work as well wouldn't me just is for the fireplace yeah <laughs> Well, that's one of the things that we're going to be looking at is commemorating not just the boats, but the engines as well. And Tammy, uh, you're going to have a little girl here in a couple of years is going to be watching you very carefully. Oh, yeah. It's contagious, you know. Oh, that, it you? is. It yeah. is. I have a need for speed, and that's that comes from him. The need for speed. So I'm sure we'll pass it along to her for sure. Perfect. Larry, thank you very much for your time. Tammy, thank you for your time. And we'll see you in a boat race really soon. Oh, yeah. We will be. Thanks yeah. very much. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's my sponsor. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be paying for it. The architect.